Gentlemen. And Nurse Diesel. Now I go to the hair department, and they give me this dark brown wig. I put some eyebrows that were too close together and too low. I put a base over my mouth and powder, and then I drew a very thin lips with a brown pencil. And then I filled it in with very bright red lipsticks. And it got on my teeth, and I left it there. Dr. Ashley felt that color has a great deal to do with the well-being of the emotionally disturbed. I sort of ended up like Ed Sullivan, so I talked like that. Uh, we heard some weird noises emanating from your room. We were worried. Weird noises. It was the TV. Sorry it disturbed you. Did you just... You scared the shit out of me. You heard him. You're, you're going too hard tonight. Oh, get off it. I know you better than you know yourself. You live for bondage and oh. discipline. Oh. Uh, Harvey Corman. He's, he's this marvelous milk toast. Um, Namby Pamby. Mama's boy. Well, actually, a nurse's boy. Too much bondage. Too much bondage. Not enough discipline. And of course, there's Ron Carey, who plays the inept Brophy, a character that's not really a Hitchcock character, but out of some crazy 30s film. Who are you? Oh, I'm Brophy. I work at the Institute. I came to pick you up. I'm going to be your driver and sidekick. I loved Edward Brophy. He was a short, fat Irish guy with brim up in the front and had a high voice. Gee, boys, I didn't know where we were going. I didn't know that they were voting twice. Gee, boys, it was his cigar. I got it. I got it. I ain't got it. <laughs>